It's not completely out of the ordinary to have your wheelie bin disappear, but how about 25 of them? For a while, John was scratching his head, but now he says he's caught the culprits on camera and you won't believe who it was. It's like a magic show, John. It's <laughs> sure. like a magic show. Yes, you know? it is, it is, it is. Bins are disappearing. Bins are disappearing. <laughs> but I'm looking for Harry Houdini. Who's that? We usually have a problem with the bins getting lost yeah. from, you know, every couple of weeks or once a month. Well, what about David Copperfield? I'm looking for a garbo that makes bins disappear. Do you know him? No. These aren't just hunks of plastic. These are vessels that need to be treated with love and respect. I mean, after all, they do get rid of all those nasties out of your house. But what happens if the bins go out and don't come back? Is this a classic case of bin gate? Unit Strata manager John is blowing his lid over his disappearing bins. How many bins have you lost? I reckon the past four or five years, access of 20 to 25 bins at least. So he took a look at his CCTV. The guys just picked it up, absolutely nothing wrong with the video, he just picked it up and threw it in the back of the truck. John called his local Canterbury Bankstown Council in southwest Sydney. I said, no, it's not stolen. I've been spending 10 minutes telling you that it's in the back of the truck. So John called us. We need to speak to somebody. You need to put a report. We need to escalate this problem. It needs to stop. There's a lot, a lot of money going, and they're worth about $150, $160 every time. Now, this is where the hard work begins, oh, mate. Gee, it's an early start for you, isn't it? No, it's a good start. We popped out on the early morning rubbish run for a sniff. And then watch this. There we go. Wait. Yeah, it's probably broken. Probably oh, broke. That's it looked, why. It looked no, a pretty no, good no, neck to me. Serious? Yeah? Yeah, no, yeah. seriously, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the, the axle <laughs> might have broke underneath and the yeah, bits cracked yeah. and finished. Yeah. I'm looking, do you know, I'm looking for this bloke so I can ask him. I don't know him. No. <laughs> no. Him, no. Mate, it's not David Copfield. No, I no, don't know him. Not Harry Houdini. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Perhaps this isn't an illusion after all. Perhaps a structural issue with the bins might have appeared. What's the issue here, brother? See how it's cracked? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all the bin juices will start leaking. So when it... And when it hits the, the ground again... So would you, as a garbo, would you say, hey, make the bins tougher? You reckon? You know, so you can avoid this? It's wear and tear, too. Strata manager John says the garbos have the wrong end of the wand. It was an absolutely in 100% condition, we perfectly. It just dropped, the machine came off the machine, he just picked it up and put it in the back of the truck. So he's had about 20, 25 bins go missing over five years. Is that unusual? I think that's exaggerated. He's exaggerated, isn't I it? caught a fish this big. <laughs> nah, I don't think so, yeah. Uh, nah. So you don't blame the garbo for doing the old... No, it was, I guarantee it would have been cracked and broken. And how about this trick? Abracadabra, now you see two bins, now you don't. Two go up, one comes out. That's right. <laughs> so they won't do anything about it. Has this happened? Two bins go up and only one comes back out. Yes, yeah, so they can slip in. Yeah. All the pins, like the, the lip, yeah. If it's wet, raining, slippery, yeah. Rates have increased by over 12% around here. John says something stinks at the council and it needs to pull a rabbit out of its hat. Ask the council to do the bloody job. That's all they need to do. Rate payers, every councils are going bankrupt. Councils haven't got money. They're asking people to pay 20%, 30% increase every year. Do the thing, stop spending people's money. That's all there is to it. It is the rate payers' money. It seems like we need to get some redesign going of the bins. What do you reckon? <laughs> I'll go, but I'll go and ask for you. How about that? No comes, worries, down, comes down to money. Comes down to money, that's right. A lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money to replace them too, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Carry on, mate. Don't let me hold you up. Thanks very much. The life of a garbo. It can't be easy. You've got strata managers complaining on one hand, just trying to do their job, but you've got to wonder whether there is a Harry Houdini among the ranks. Guys, take care of our bloody beans for Christ's sake. They cost money, they cost money, they cost money. Take care of it. Do the right things. And it looks like Canterbury Bankstown Council isn't scared to throw some shade, telling residents to put things in perspective, given its garbos pick up more than 12 million bins a year. 
then I'm sure the residents would love to keep.